To create a collection of screens to import into the Velocity console, you must download and install the Wavelink TE client for Windows, Windows CE, or Windows Mobile. You will then turn on screen capture, step through the application, and when finished, stop the screen capture. This will build the .wltsc file needed to import into the Velocity console. This module will step you through that process. To turn on screen capture on Windows CE or Windows Mobile, from the Options drop-down menu, select Logging, and then click on Screen Capture. For this example, we will use the Windows TE client. To turn on screen capture, from the Term drop-down menu, click on Screen Capture. This is a toggle and can be used to turn the screen capture on and off. When you start a screen capture, you will be asked for a file name and a location. In this example, the file name is Acme Screen Capture WLTSC, and the location is the desktop. When finished, click on Save. The check mark to the left of the screen capture option tells you that screen capture is now activated. At this point, each screen and all data applied to the screen is being captured. To get a usable capture file, have the user work through all production screens that you want modernized. Don't forget to generate all error messages as well. When all screens have been captured, go back to the term menu and click on Screen Capture. You will be asked if you want to stop the screen capture process. Click on Yes. The TE client will end the screen capture process. The file Acme Screen Capture WLTSC is now available to be imported into the screen reformatter. If you remember from an earlier module, capturing the screen was the first process. We will talk about the second process of renaming, deleting, and reordering screens within a screen capture file in the next module on screen reformatting.